All right, the, le the next tool we're gonna do is gonna be use scroll and use full screen. Use scroll is useful because sometimes you need to know when the user is scrolled past something and then you will change the color or you will do whatever. So let's go. Use scroll, doesn't do anything. And we are going to start setting the state. We're gonna call it state and we're gonna do set state, no big deal. And we're gonna use state. Now, by default, this use state, we're gonna do X, maybe will be zero, and Y will be zero, right? And we're gonna be returning state. So here, for example, let's get only Y, we don't care about X, and we do use scroll, right? And here the H1, I'm gonna do style, color, and I'm gonna do if X, is more than 100, for example, the color will be red or blue. So and right now it's blue because X is zero, right? Let me make just real quick X uh, H1 position will be fixed. All right just as an example and we need to say that app will have a height of 100 vh so that means that we can scroll right let's see yeah we can scroll awesome all right so now let's see if this works so here um let's do use effect as always as you can see this became very monotonous we are not going to update it, never. And we are gonna do window at event listener, scroll, and on scroll will be our handler, const on scroll event. Let's just console log the event. And also we have to clean up, so we're going to return window remove event listener scroll on scroll you need to remember that when you add events you need to remove the events with the same name and the same handler all right so now as you can see when we scroll we have an event what is the one we want we want i think we want um uh, I don't think it comes from the event. I think it just comes from window. Yes, window, scroll, yay, scroll. This tells us the scroll measurement of the window. So we're gonna do Y and X to see if this works. Window, scroll, X. So as you can see, look at it, Y and X. Cool. Awesome. So, yeah, Y, only Y, great. So now what we need to do, super simple, is going to be set state. X, sorry, Y and X. done so now we're gonna scroll and as you can see it changes if I scroll awesome down and up down and up down and up cool and that's it just like that you can detect scrolls and look at how easy it is it looks so beautiful const y use scroll awesome so good all right done use scroll I'm gonna copy paste this into here and I will see you soon the next one is going to be use full screen. Use full screen. I have this image. I'm going to make two buttons and we're going to make that one button is going to make the image full screen. All right. So basically we can take any um, element and we can make it full screen. All right. So let's go use full screen 
and let's not do anything with the inter thing inside and let's just let's see let's make two functions const and let's say this will this wouldn't use use effect actually i don't know let's go request for no trigger full screen right and what this is going to do oh yeah we need an, an element so let's do element use ref let's return the ref and here let's say full screen element use full screen so i want to make the image the full screen element all right so trigger full screen will check if element that current and if that exists is going to say element that current request full screen i think that's the event all right and we're going to return element oh no we need to return element and also maybe we need to return trigger full element so this will have element element and we are going to also return trigger full so my button can call it trigger full like that let's refresh and see if it works i go make full screen it doesn't work is it request full screen or request not element type the fuck it's element refresh ah Sorry. Click. Didn't work. Maybe here. Element current request full screen. This takes the element ref element. Yes, use full screen. Oh, mm -mm -mm. On click trigger full maybe because it's an iframe so let's open it here and click make full screen whoa yay it works so as you can see it makes a make full screen awesome cool as fuck now let's uh also do a exit full screen so come here exit full and this is going to do document exit full screen done and we're gonna return exit full screen it's weird when you request full screen you request it with an element but when you want to get out of it you get out of it via the document i don't know why that happens but it's how it is and let's make a button but instead of just making the the, the image big let's make a div here so i can put the ref on the div right and let's make a button saying exit full screen and we need to exit full screen here perfect and exit full screen great let me refresh here make full screen makes it full screen and exit full screen makes it exit full screen awesome exit and start great cool no now also we could in theory if you wanted to we could make a callback because maybe the person the person wants to um execute a function when it becomes full screen and one function when it becomes uh non full screen so let's make a function called on full screen and this function is gonna get nothing and it's gonna say let's say that this function will get a is full this function will get a boolean all right so it will say if it's full we are full or we are empty we are not uh, small we are small all right so now the person can pass their callback here 
in use full screen and here in use full screen we can check and when, once this is finished we can say if actually let's check from the beginning no from here it's okay if on full screen and type of on full screen equals function we're going to run on full screen let's change on f to callback all right we're going to run callback with the true as i said we're going to send the person a true over he true here so we're going to run callback with true and the same with exit we're going to do the same thing here except we're going to run callback false and that's it so now if i make full screen or exit full screen you will see that it says we are full and we are small and that's it as you can see we're passing callback and we're also notifying the person of the um yeah of their state and also we are exposing the api so the person can choose when to make it big when to make it small and so the person can also choose how to react to the event and we can literally take any event any any element we want basically we want we can take any element we want and make it full screen awesome now there is a there is i think a compatibility issue here so we're gonna have to do a lot of if else's i'm gonna pause and do it and then i explain what i did it so i'll see you soon and we're done this is what i did i just i'm just checking that the element has that function so i can call the function because sometimes in like for example firefox it's not request full screen but most request full screen and on opera is webkit and in microsoft is ms like they changed the um, they changed the function name so that's what i'm checking all right also i made a function called wrong callback callback so i don't have to check twice for this and it's going to call the fallback the callback anyways with is full is full and here is full is false because it's exiting and here is full screen is true because it's entering full screen all right and that's it this is it for this one we are done see you in the next one for our last ones use notification and use axios bye bye